rolling. Check. Calm and stay. Coming up on Off the Hardwood, Paul Jones talks to Raptor Centers, Akeem the Dream Olajuwon, and Mamadou Njai about growing up in Africa, playing soccer instead of basketball, coming to America, and being teammates on the Raptors. Welcome back. Now, not lost on us, I hope, is the fact that both of these guys are very skilled NBA players and we sit in the midst of one of the top 50 players of all time. Dream, you've come to Toronto and, and how hard was it to leave Houston after all those years, college and pro, and bringing two championships to that city? Well, it was very, very difficult. At the same time, it was, this was an, uh, to explore, try something new. Always wanted to see how it is to play as well. So it's always been a dream to see what it's like. You had talked about actually playing in Vancouver. Vancouver, yeah. I love, I love Canada, but I didn't realize I would be in Toronto. I was thinking Vancouver towards the end of my career. So, well, I'm... Mamadou, Mamadou, same with you. you. You come from the U.S. and you talked about Toronto being very cosmopolitan. What is it that you like so much about Toronto? I mean, you know, I guess that's just the thing because you fit in because I have a very short career so far, just Denver and here. I think I really like Denver, nothing wrong with the place. I wouldn't mind being uh, being there, but, you know. If Are I you asking to, for a trade? Is I that had, what's... No, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I'm saying, <laughs> if I had a two between the two, I would rather be in, in Toronto because for some reason, you know, I feel more in the mix basically, I fit in better because you have up, lots of Africans here, you know, you have lots of mosques and stuff, so I feel much better. There is a Senegalese restaurant and, and you know, all, 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 all those things, so I fit in better with the people. Now I know before the game the two of you kind of go at it and, and, it's, and, it's, and it's pretty heated at times. Um, tell me about your prize pupil. What, what, is, what has he been able to pick up? And you said to me, you've learned some stuff from him. Oh, definitely. Uh, first of all, you know, being, uh, we play the same position. Both are centers. So we can relate where we like the same moves. The same, you know, so we work on the mechanics of things that we like to do, our tendency. Maybe sometime I can do a move but he preferred to turn around. His strength is on the other side. Maybe on this side. <laughs> so this is, this is basketball. Basketball is very, you know, you know, even though this is what I like to do, but I'm, I'm stronger on this side. He preferred the other way, but he same moves. Just a different uh, uh, variations. So we discuss those kind of issues. And it's always been a dream of mine, what it's like to be on a team with another Muslim. Because in Islam, we do a lot of things where it, it, together. So for, for him being on a on, uh, on team, it's such a joy for me, where it's just our lifestyle, everything just so natural together. We play together the same position on the same team. So I look forward to coming to practice every day, you know, saying salam alaikum to him. So it makes my, this last, this part of my uh, career so much fun, so much joy. So we discuss everything, basketball, life, everything, you know, so it's also natural. Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, with uh, Mamadou, you are going to say something. Yeah, and that's why I told you, like, the basketball part is not why I'm so happy because, you know, as a Muslim, you know, I mean, I see somebody that I can kind of relate to, somebody I can, you know, look up to kind of, you know, and see the way he acts on and off the floor and try to see that it's not impossible to do, you know, just have to do the commitment. And it's always good to have somebody you know, that knows about the religion. So if you do something wrong, he will correct you. And if you want to do something, you can discuss it and he can, you know, 
tell you what you what you should do, what you shouldn't do, because you know I, at this point I feel that he knows way more than than I do, even though he don't want to recognize it. Yeah. You know, so you always you know, so you always have somebody who's like a big brother to you. You know, so always like you know if you do this or do that, and just by looking at him, you know how committed he is. You know, in the religion and in the basketball court. You know, so I'm. A, kind of very lucky and I can be a winner in, in both, in the religion and in, in, in basketball. He's a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, he's a sinner, and I'm a sinner. So, you know, I can learn in, in both of them. Well, it so. seems like you guys got a, a good little friendship going on here. Dream, coming to Toronto, compare Toronto to Houston in terms of we talk we always talk about the closeness to a championship. What similarities do you see? I mean, you accomplished so much in Houston, and you're, you're you know you've said you're at the kind of the the end part of your career here, but still hoping to accomplish some things. What do you see similarities between Toronto and Houston, the teams and where they might be and where they Toronto might be headed? Oh, uh, very very similar. Uh, the our championship year, the first our championship, uh, the city the media, their predictions, none of them pick us to win. But when you look at the talent on that team, that we have all the, the talents on each, each position, the team is very tough. But it's about just commitment, believing that you can do it, and step up to do, you know, and, you know, doing it. When you look at this team, the tremendous talent in Toronto's team, and the possibility when you look in the East, for example, that in a five-game series, seven-game series, which team can, we cannot beat? Is it impossible? Not, you know, so you feel so comfortable that we have what it takes to do it. But doing it now, there's application and there's commitment. That, you know, that's what it's going to take to do it. You know, but, mm. So I see the same kind of a, uh, uh, team, very similar. You know, somebody like you know, Vince, in, the, you know, in this stage of his career, where so athletic, so dominant in his position, can create so much opportunity for the team. But taking that to another level by getting all the other guys to play in a higher level. So the team is there. You just have to make that commitment to and believe that you can do it. Well, I hope that uh, Toronto understands that both of you are committed to the team and it sounds like both of you are really committed to the city. I really want to say thank you very much for joining us. Thank you uh, very much for your time. I know it's, uh, it's, it's, it's difficult. We're, we're in a time of the year when uh, there's a lot going on. Thanks for your time. Great to have you guys. Thank you. No, thank you. Thanks for having us. That's another edition of Off the Hardwood. We'll see you next week. <laughs>